downpours between one and two inches of rain yesterday fell west of I-75 and there were pockets farther inland. But this is the case in the summer. Some places get heavy rain, some places don't get as much rain. And I'm going to bring in meteorologist Amanda Holly to talk about that because we hear from people saying, well, it's not raining at my house. Right. And, you know, sometimes we show the graphic where yeah, it's the rainfall totals, the surplus or the deficit that we're in in July, the Tampa International Airport where we keep official records, it was in a pretty good surplus. But when we look back at July across the entire area, it really doesn't tell the whole story. So check this out. This is a map of how much rain we saw in July, and this is a map of the deficit. And I want to draw your attention to a couple different things here. Our coastal counties in July, they got a lot of rain. These pinks that you see here, that's upwards of 10 to 15 inches of estimated rainfall, which is above average. So yeah, our coastal counties in a surplus of rain for July. But then I'm going to draw your attention to our inland counties, even inland Sarasota and Manatee County. You can still see there's reds here, and that's between about five and eight inches. But you see a lot of yellows on this map, and that indicates that the uh, these areas were actually in a deficit of rainfall for July. So if you thought July was dry for your area, you're not necessarily wrong because uh, we don't talk always about the entire area. We talk a lot about the Tampa International Airport lead just because that is where the uh, official records are kept. But we want to we want to include everyone here once in a while and show you that some areas certainly were drier than normal in July. And the good news is during the summer months, you, you will eventually get There's rain. There's spotty rain, right? Eventually, you might get some. It's just maybe not as much as others. So thanks, Amanda.